Welcome sa Cipline.com. In this video ay magsisimula tayo ng panibagong series. No? Dito sa series na to pag-aaralan natin yung additional fractions. Now, uh, ang series na to particular siya sa, sa dedicated siya particularly dun sa operations. No? Kasi meron na tayong video na about uh, functions. Buo siya. No? Yung series natin, 24 videos yan. Uh, pwede nyo i-click dyan sa sa ano no sa nakikita nyo sa iba pa. Okay, so dito sa video na to, ang una nating i-discuss is yung addition ng similar fractions no. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng similar fractions? Similar fractions. Yung similar fractions, yun yung mga fractions with fractions with or whose denominators are the same, no? So, halimbawa, uh, one-fourth, three-fourth, at saka five-fourth, these are fractions with uh, denominator four, pare-pareho lang. So, ang tawag natin sa kanila, similar fractions. Now, pag hindi siya similar fractions, ang tawag naman natin siya, sa kanila ay dissimilar fractions. Dissimilar fractions. Uh, these are fractions whose denominators are not are not the same, no? So, for example, one-fifth one half, tsaka one third. And mga, mga dissimilar fractions yan. Now, ang unang uh, i-discuss na muna natin ay addition of similar fractions. No? Ang dissimilar fractions sa mga susunod na video, abangan nyo. Uh, but here, we will focus on uh, similar fractions. So, example one. What is one? One fifth plus two fifth. No? Well, pag uh, similar fractions, ang ginagawa lang natin is we copy the denominator, no? We copy the denominator, tsaka we add the numerator. Now, the reason for this is that pag similar fraction ka, uh, halimbawa, meron kang uh, rectangle, no? Na-discuss ito sa series natin, yung may 24 na ano, no? Uh, 24 videos, no? Yung mga konsepto nito, pero just uh, an overview here. So, alam mo, meron tayong uh, uh, rectangle equally divided. No? And, yan, kunwari. Ah, kunwari yan. Uh, a rectangle divided into six equal parts, for example. So, although na hindi sila mukhang equal, i-assume na lang natin na equal sila. No? So, if I have a, for example, I have, uh, yan, 1, 6, tapos magdadagdag ako ng 2, 6, then how many, uh, what part, no? what part of the rectangle do I have, no? na nakukulayan? So, that is uh, 1, 6, One six plus two six equals three o three out of six. No, so yun yung dahilan kung bakit inaad natin yung fractions. Kina kapi lang natin yung denominator. No, because wala naman tayong gagawin dahil para pareho lang naman yung uh, na, yung parts niya. No, uh, they are uh, equally uh, divided. No, so uh, ibig sabihin, ito lang talaga yung gagawin natin. We just copy the uh, denominator and add the numerator, no? Yung numerator, yun yung number sa itaas, di ba? Tapos yung denominator, yun yung nasa iba ba. So, one more example, we have, uh, ang 36, pwede natin siya pala i, ano, no? I lowest terms. So, anong common sa kanila na pwede natin i-divide? Pwede tayo mag-divide ng 3, di ba? So, magiging 1, 1 half. So, 3, 6, and 1 half are actually the same. Yun nga lang, usually sa mga test ang ang ina-accept na answer ay yung in lowest terms no so dapat in lowest terms natin wag natin kalimutan okay 
So number number uh, three, we have, uh, for example, 1, 12, plus 2, 12, plus 2, 12. Are they similar or dissimilar? Similar sila, no? Pare-pareho ng uh, denominators. So, ibig sabihin, we just have to add magiging 5 over 12, no? Okay, so, I think yan yung pinaka-idea lang, no? Sa pag-add ng uh, similar fractions. Sometimes, meron tayong meron tayong uh, mixed fractions, no? Although, i-discuss din natin yung mix, but uh, let's have uh, one example here. 3 and 1 over 15 plus 2 and uh, 3 over 15. So, pag mixed, usually, uh, hiwalay natin yung, mas maganda na hiwalay yung whole number, no? So, yun yung pinaka-strategy sa addition. Huwag mong isasama kasi pag sinama mo siya, uh, gagaw gagawin mo yung improper, which is lalaki yung number. So, add first the, the whole number. That's 3 plus 2 equals 5. Tapos, add the uh, fraction. So, here, nakita natin, the fractions are uh, similar. So, we just copy the denominator, 15, and then add the numerator. So, basically, to add, yung pinaka-concept natin dito is, if you want to add the similar fractions, you just have to copy the denominator and add all the numerators. Yan yung sa addition of similar fractions. So, sunod na video, ang pag-aaral naman natin ay paano naman mag-add ng dissimilar fractions. Okay? So, maraming salamat. I hope meron kayo natunan sa video na to. So, kayong imbitahin sa sitnayan.com. Nandiyan yung mga listahan ng ating mga videos. Kompleto yan, no? And uh, nagdadagdag tayo every week. So, I hope uh, meron kayong natunan. See you in the next tutorial.